Welcome back to Easy Spirit 101. I hope you all are having a great day. Today we're going to be doing a general message. So we will find out what someone might need to know right now about their current situation or some sort of dilemma going on, etc. Something where you seek clarity and guidance. Um, it will be for Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, or anyone who is drawn drawn to the message, paying attention to the energy of the message. If the energy resonates with your situation, it might be worth watching. If not, no harm done. No one is obligated to... Um, watch watch someone's tarot readings <laughs> very obviously here i'm seeing that someone's healing going on is in regards to how they moderate their indulgences really <clears throat> I feel a heaviness on my lungs. Someone might be smoking. I feel like you are going to overcome this struggle. Maybe someone here already knows that this is like a struggle for me. This is a block for me. It's blocked me from where I'm meant to go. It's blocking me from persevering towards this leadership role. And I do feel like you are going to reach this place of healing, but it requires patience. And incidentally, this, this new, this new, um, this new habit, this new habit you're trying to create of practicing your moderation, you know, every day or as frequently as you're getting into is also going to require perseverance. I feel like something that someone is indulging in or needing to recover from even affects the way they communicate with others. What else? What else? With the synchronicity, I feel like certain events, certain things are coming into play where you're already, you may even be physically trying to step into this role. You're definitely seeing the signs, but this is like some sort of, this is like slowing you down here. very randomly very specific i just got that someone is sort of kind of like an athlete or something to that effect maybe you have a very active job or you literally are an athlete in some sort maybe you compete in some sort of way and you do battle smoking and it is it is blocking you from your highest potential But the good news is you know that and you're already in this process. You really have to just be patient with yourself and be patient with building new healthier habits. Yeah, because overcoming this is going to lead to some sort of increased abundance for you. 
I feel like this is very much meant to be with the 8887. Very much like a meant to be this leadership role is very much meant to be part of your path. And the 7, definitely part of your path. And when you overcome it, there's a lot of success here. There's a lot of all around success. Yeah, and this is kind of just reiterating this here on top of what we were talking about. What is not aligned with you? What is not aligned with where you're meant to go that needs to change? This is literally like a repeat of this message. This, whoever I'm talking to really understands this part about their life purpose about the direction they're meant to go into. Where are you being called to journey to? This is you already knowing this. Now, there is here something or someone around you. It does say mirror. So I'm getting that there might be someone around you that kind of mirrors something to you. They mirror something to you. Something about your interaction with this person shows something to you that is triggering you about usually triggers there's a deeper meaning behind the trigger usually the trigger is saying something to you about you so pay attention to your triggers especially if someone around you yeah boundaries it's definitely someone you spend a lot of time with you need to have stronger boundaries around this person for those of you who aren't clear on triggers, I do try to break it down and go back to basics a little bit on this channel because we were all there at one point. We were all like, what does that mean? You know, and maybe we weren't all like that, but some of us are. So <laughs> triggers, like if you encounter one person over, over and over again and they do something that just irks the living puh out of you that is a trigger or somebody that always says or does something in such a way that like riles you up to anger that is a trigger you are whoever this is you're going through this transformation you will already know the journey you're being called to move forward on to you are in the process of trying to overcome um unhealthy habits that are holding you back in this trigger around you it is someone around you because it says you need to have closer boundaries especially i feel like with all this all these hands there's it's either one person that's got a very very strong energy and they're like meddling digging in everything grabbing at you constantly um ignoring you when you say no you know this person I see them putting their hands up like this person, like you, a lot of times will say stop to this person and this person ignores you. I'm also getting though, there might be more than one person that like you're just kind of going with. You might have a bit of a Pisces or water energy here. You're just kind of going with, like letting the energy around you tug you in various directions and it's making you encouraging you to do this smoking or whatever this unhealthy habit here is causing you some sort of anxiety a lot of people who smoke this isn't for everyone don't shoot the messenger a lot of people who smoke um do it because do it from a place of like anxious energy Anxious energy usually needs a healthy outlet. And a lot of times anxious is like you're worried about something coming or future or fear. 
someone around this person may live in fear a lot. That's, that's a full lot of where anxious energy comes from. And the most simplest thing I can say, and of course I would on this channel, we are called Easy Spirit 101. The spirit is your answer to everything. If you need help with something that feels much bigger than you, telling you from experience, spirit is your answer. Start taking your issues to them more frequently. Do it and do it and do it until you hear an answer or see some sort of change. Okay. Yeah, how can you mother yourself? Very strongly, I'm feeling like someone maybe didn't have a lot of this kind of energy around them growing up or something to that effect. And this is saying, that's okay. You know, whatever happened back then, that's okay because you're in the place that you can do this for yourself. It's time to really be your own mother. Um give yourself a hug and, and encourage you towards what is for your highest good, what is um, a healthy direction to go in. Yeah, you have been training for this for lifetimes. Whatever experience you are in right now, I also get that this connection who is mirroring you around you could be a past life connection. And you and your your soul recognizes this person, which could be part of why you let them in as far as you let them in. But this person is like, there's a need to have boundaries here. So whoever this person is from the past probably is here to like teach you a lesson. Yeah, your guidance is divinely guided here. Whatever you're recognizing or understanding about this situation is divinely guided. That's just a confirmation for someone. I feel like whoever this is, I'm not going to dip, dive too much in. People are smoking all kinds of stuff these days. I don't care. That's none of my business. <laughs> um, that's not my place. I can only tell you from like a spiritual perspective, everything in moderation, okay? Um, me, I operate better with very, very little to no any kind of extra substance. I'm very, very sensitive to that, even coffee. Oh my God, you guys. I love coffee. Like I am a coffee junkie and I have had to switch to decaf and on my way to like only tea like y'all have no idea how bad that hurts <laughs> but um i can say that well you know when you are sensitive you're spiritual and you're very sensitive to energy substances can throw you off in spite of your experiences with them how you think about them what you feel about them if you're going to do it or feel like you should do it or whatever, it's really every everything in moderation. Everything, too much of a good thing is not good for you. Especially if someone is like smoking cigarettes or something. That's, that's an obvious one. Like, to break it down for you. And I, I'm not, you know, if you're struggling with that, I, I am not um, judging or hating on you. Or anything like that been there done that my I've, I've had family members who who smoke cigarettes you know um, I'm telling you again only from a spiritual perspective it's the fact that what is in the smoke imagine if sage right sage is, is helps clear energy it's very a very ancient very sacred um, kind of tool to use for that. It, it's like a healthy smoke that helps. Okay, well, we all know what is in cigarette smoke. <laughs> it is like a toxic smoke, and it, it really kind of um, sticks itself to you. It makes kind of a unhealthy barrier, and it, it sinks into your skin. It sinks into your 
your energy. And in that case, it's more of a block. That's for someone very specific. Someone else might be struggling with smoking the other stuff. Funny cigarettes. And that is up to your discretion. I'm not here to um, condone or deny. Everyone is where they are on their journey. Um, Queen of Swords. Let's see what's going on here. Again, Queen of Swords is about boundaries. Boundaries. I feel like this Knight of Wands energy goes along with this Queen of Swords. This Queen of Swords is, is uh, much more like in their head rather than um, in their heart space. And I do feel like this Knight of Wands kind of reckless energy is coming from this person. Yeah, again with the moon, it's giving me like something deeper to this situation that you're not seeing, not understanding. And again, I'm feeling like this is, this is another reference to this person... This person is likely a past life connection. With the Eight of Wands, I'm honestly getting... Gosh, I almost dropped my deck. I'm getting like this, really like a reckless energy. Not like anything specific. I'm more feel specific that this person creates a lot of change very often and that could be causing you know this anxious energy here this person may struggle with some sort of lack there's like a overall anxious kind of energy here anxious energy this is part of why you whoever divine feminine divine masculine who's around this person is feeling that and it's it's um got you in a state of like trying to band-aid that or mask it again you may be very sensitive to energy you may need to cut out whatever the smoking is altogether at least for now whatever i feel like this right here is some sort of truth or clarity like you already know who this person is to you or what's going on underneath the surface behind the scenes like there's some sort of kind of acceptance here yeah and then there's a devil on the bottom here with this there's like a toxic energy going on around this it could be from a place of heartache etc I think I'm going to get more in the tarot just a little bit. What else do we need to know? I see an energy of like anxious around finances. This could be you. The king of swords. Yeah, with the ace of pentacles on the bottom. I feel like you, this is the divine guidance you're getting. Your guidance is divinely guided. Um, and maybe you were, you've been training for this for lifetimes. Maybe you were, like your soul knows a place of financial security, stability. Um, you've been guided to kind of resolve this issue. You feel guided to get into a place of financial independence so there is a strong energy of someone trying to kind of overcome yeah i feel like this is like the beginning of this journey that they're both holding the sword up like that like i'm ready i know what i need to do i am ready 
but it's hard because this energy here it's like you're trying to go against against a heavy energy here Yeah, I feel like this is this is this other person around you that's got this like anxious, anxious, anxious lack mentality, and you feel like you know it's a kind of an uphill battle here, like or just a constant battle. Try not to be discouraged if this is a divinely guided situation. The more you get into that direction, the more spirit's going to kind of help carry you over hurdles. You've got stillness. I feel like that's kind of a guidance here to be still as often as you can, like in spite of this anxious energy don't give in to the anxious energy kind of separate yourself from it i feel like here this is saying you know a lot of times when you're in a specific kind of challenge that's helping you align on your on your higher path sometimes the problems in front of you are almost you know it's a sense of like 3d can be an illusion things are not as they seem um this is a test here so it's kind of a thing is maybe don't even like ignore it like don't look at it sometimes things are not as they seem like something you're experiencing is making you feel more blocked than it really is like that spirit saying like it's not as blocked as it is yeah like independence again you are being guided to become financially independent independent this is why they're saying some sort of struggle you're experiencing it's kind of illusion it's there's some sort of there's some sort of change coming in here this is going to be like the death card the death is like bringing in change to this situation so really you're being guided to kind of ignore ignore this energy this this thing where it feels very stuck and impossible they're saying kind of don't look at the impossible right now. Something is about to change. And there's a need to forgive. Because this transformation, this like change is going on. There's like a ending and a beginning occurring. An ending and beginning occurring. So it's very important to forgive someone close around you. It's going to help you be in a flow of energy. And when you're flowing, when you're flowing is when blessings can get to you. It's when you're stopping the flow and blocking and getting caught up in, in walls. Especially if this is someone else's stuff. It's kind of an illusion that it, the feeling of it is that you're taking it on yourself and you don't have to. I do feel like this might be part of why you're stuck with whoever this person is because forgiveness is needed in this situation. You need to forgive this Queen of Swords energy for something. You do have home in reverse, so it could be in someone's home, like there's like a tumultuous, like upside down kind of situation or circumstance. Not only is this mastery, like you're going to, the more you work on all these things, because you're part of the divine collective and you're going in that direction, you will reach a state of mastery, but it's, it's already happening. You already, you already have these things. 
You've been training this for, for this for lifetimes. Your soul has been collecting these skills that you need for this moment to overcome this challenge. You have everything you need within you to get through this. I feel like with the, yeah, rebirth is here. Rebirth and humor. I feel like someone feels very uncomfortable right now and you need to kind of just, you know, if you're feeling very um, heavy, if you have a very heavy energy right now, like watch some comedy, pick your thing that makes you laugh the most and like watch a bunch of it or something to that effect. Yeah, nurture and knowledge. I think that tried. It literally kind of, it was like in reverse, but not in reverse at the same time. And I feel like that's because you have this capability inside of you to be a nurturer to yourself. Remember how can you mother yourself? And you're not um, utilizing this as well as tapping into your wisdom. It's time to get still and get quiet and kind of connect just spend like a whole day honestly you guys like i i flow a lot and and yesterday was one of those days where i you know was like meditating all day and all these issues end up just kind of naturally resolving itself so it's very important to remember to get quiet sometimes and kind of activate these new skills that we are learning and that we know we have within us to be patient and still and nurture yourself while you overcome this. Um, and again, I feel like with that heavy message in the beginning about someone smoking or something here, this is creating a huge block for you. So if that's for you, whoever this is, um, make sure you try and work on that because that's going to help that's going to help clear up so much this illusion that you're seeing that this block is bigger than it is it's not it's actually not and that's kind of what spirit wants you to connect to and see right now so make sure you work on that since that was such an important message in the beginning and that's going to clear up the rest of whatever this issue is here 